moment to Mr. Agnew uh, has asked for the floor, and then I will speak. Yes, oh, that, that was a little late. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> not likely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see where there can be some agreement. I do agree with the Green Party about the principle of waste food. A lot is wasted. But a lot of it is wasted because of EU legislation, and I see this in three areas. Discarded fish, the obligation on fishermen that they must throw dead fish back into the sea. How much better this would be to put it into livestock rations. Why not? Why don't we do it? Then, of course, you've got abattoir waste. This could easily be used, even if you don't use it, in other food products. It could be used in fertilizer. There's a lot of phosphate in it. And then there's the food waste itself and the restaurants and the retail trade and all the rest of it. We used to put this into swill to feed pigs. EU legislation has stopped all that. That's just three examples of where meddling interference is causing waste. Thank you. We also fully agree on your point on uh, the need to reduce uh, food waste, and I would um, like to uh, very much um, um, develop a bit further on this point. It's not only the food waste. In reality, we should, we should look at the issue of waste in a, in a broad meaning of it. So various residues which are not utilized could be utilized um, in a good way. And uh, one of the speakers mentioned here the abattoir waste, uh, which currently, of course, is, is not utilized. And you know the BSE problems uh, Europe has had. But then, for example, from research end, there could be very interesting and unusual solutions found. For example, we have now a project which is capturing some of the, um, let's say, carbon uh, in these waste streams and is producing plastics out of it. So bio-based plastics, for example. So even, even such unusual solutions are possible if we really put our researchers to look at the issues at hand.